Hello everyone from the internet and welcome back to my video. So for today's video, we're going to be making a rocket nozzle from an image. So without making a wait furthermore, let's get right into it. First thing is first, we're going to create a new document and it's going to be a part document to make a 3D representation of our rocket nozzle. Second step, what you want to do is go to the front plane, click it once, right click it and press on this image that says sketch so that we can be in front of the front plane. Next step, all you want to do is go to the SOLIDWORKS logo. Next to it, there's a small triangle, and then you can see the toolbox. Go to Sketch Tools, and then go to Sketch Picture to retrieve our image that I, we took from the internet or that we drew from ourselves. So mine, I took it from the internet, and I put it in this folder. Yours might be in a different folder, but if you want to take this picture, I will leave a link in the description down below. So don't worry about that. So click Open and then boom this is a big picture so if you wanted to reduce it you can just grab the edge and like reduce it like that click it once or you can hold it and extend it like that so for me I think this is enough I know it's gonna be a couple thousand millimeters which is fine with me so you can click on the right checkbox right here and then now we can start doing our rocket nozzle first thing is first as you can see this uh, this nozzle it's not really in the middle of the picture so it's kind of hard to do a center line directly so what you want to do is go on the line tool and start drawing a line from this point from the edge of the uh, rocket nozzle lower edge of the rocket nozzle to the other edge of the rocket nozzle so that we can have a center point that is located right here from the line so once we got that we can press escape and now we can finally have our center line, which is located right here. And what you want to do is go to this line that we drew, wait a few seconds, and then boom, you can see your center point appearing. And then boom, you can see the dot dot dots, the yellow dots you can see. That shows you that it goes straight down, that is perpendicular to the point. So all you want to do is like go a little bit out a little bit like that a little bit down and then boom press escape and now let's see our dimensions for the center line so what you want to do is click on smart dimensions click on this line once and bring it to the side 13 11 millimeters it's not pretty bad uh, but let's keep it like uh, let's run it up to 13 oh, oh. millimeters yep Oh, it brought a little bit back, so let's press Control Z. And yeah, I don't mind. Actually, I don't mind. This is a uh, example video, so I'm not too worried about the specification. But if you want to adjust, all you got to do is click on it once, and then boom, you can adjust it. But for me, I think uh, I think I'm fine with this number, so I don't really need to adjust it. So let's can keep continuing with this video. So next step, all you want to do is go to the spline tool. If you remember, the spline tool makes your points a little bit curvy. The more curves, you, the more points you use. So that is a good advantage compared to the line tool, where it's all like a straight line, and everything can be zigzaggy instead of it being curvy. So to each their own. But for this part, we're gonna use a spline tool because it will make our lives super super easy for this rocket nozzle since everything is curvy. From the edges so what you want to do is click it here here oh as you can see like once I try to get down here the uh, top of the rocket nozzle it's kind of going outwards so what you want to do is press escape and restart another rocket nozzle from this point so click it here here And since the turn is very, very tight right there, I'm going to restart another spline.
and ta-da! We are finally done with our spline tool, so you can re-click on the spline. And then, as you can see, everything looks pretty good. Obviously, sometimes our spline line, it's a little bit outwards from the line of the image, but that's not a really big issue. So, next step, all you want to do is click on the line we uh, made earlier and press delete because we are done with it. We don't need it anymore. But now, all we need to do is create a layer, a little bit of thickness between this line and this line so all you want to do is press on the offset entities and then click on the line we we just made right now and then boom it made a line that goes from the top to the bottom that follows it perfectly and it's almost perfect to this line not too perfect but it's really good so since i'm satisfied with this with 10 millimeters i'm just gonna press okay and now what you want to do is delete the image we have here just by right clicking on it and clicking delete. And all you got to do now is make the two points right here intersect and the other two points down there intersect. There we go. And once you see this gray line, it is really good because it means that everything that is in here is intersected so what you want to do now is go to features and then press revolve boss base so now what you want to do is click on center line and then boom you have your rocket nozzle and we are done with it so if you've enjoyed my video please consider liking and subscribing and if you have any other questions about how to make a rocket nozzle I don't mind if you leave any questions in the, in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to help you guys if you have trouble by uh, replicating one of the rocket nozzles by looking at one of my YouTube videos. So thank you for watching my video and I will see you next time. Take it easy and bye bye.